Hi, I'm Denise Gagne, and I'm here today to talk about preparing kids to read Soulfish, to read the Sew and Me pattern. So I'm taking the information from the Music Play One Teacher's Guide, page 65, How to Label Sew and Me. And step one is, of course, to have kids sing the song many times and ensure that the kids are singing it in tune. So you can use any of the Sew Me songs that are in Music Play. If you're looking for Sew Me songs, you can simply go to the search engine, press on Sew Me, hit submit, and here's all the Sew Me songs that you're going to find in the program. So I'm going to take one from kindergarten, Hey, Hey, Look at Me. And I'm going to go up to the interactive sofa where the whole process is laid out step by step. So step number one, sing the song. But you would go through it with the kids many times and you would get them to make up verses of their own. The next step after the kids are singing it well in tune is many times you show how the notes go higher and lower. So you could do this. Hey, hey, look at me. I am clapping. You can see. Your little people will like doing more physical things. Have them stand up for the high notes sit down for the low notes. If you're not getting your 100 squats a day, this is the perfect time to do it. Hey, hey, look at me. I am clapping, you can see. If you have in your classroom a stretchy band or a parachute, have the kids make a circle, join hands around the stretchy band and show how the notes go higher and lower with this. Hey, hey, look at me. You're not going to do all of these in one lesson but you want to repeat this enough that the kids get very good at identifying and showing with their body movements which is the higher note and which is the lower note to uh, to assess them have the kids close their eyes and sing the song and show you the high and low notes and if they do this hey hey look at me they're not understanding high and low yet so you need to practice some more before you go on to label it. So here are some other ways that you can make, that you can help them understand. In this case, there's an icon and I use it to show, hey, hey, look at me. I am clapping, you can see. And if you have students in your class that can come up to a smart board, they can do that and drag the icon. The next activity is to show how the notes go using icons. So I could show, hey, hey, look at me. And I can do this not just digitally or electronically, but I can do this with my cookie sheet. Hey, hey, look at me. And that's using the one line staff. I'm just showing which notes are higher, which notes are lower. And if I was doing this with the children, I'd sing a note, hey, and I'd ask them to tell me, is the next note higher or lower? And they would say lower. Hey, are the next notes higher or lower, boys and girls? Hey, hey, and they'd tell me higher. Look at, what about the last note, boys and girls? Is it higher or lower? And they'd tell me lower. So I would go through that with them. So that's all good preparation for teaching high and low in getting them ready to, to label them as so and me. There are many ways at musicplayonline.com to teach and practice so and me. There's the note highlight videos. So when you're teaching the song, if you want to, you can teach with using the note highlight videos. They go through the song the first time with just the lyrics, the second time they do it in Soulfish. So you might even want to go back and do the Soulfish later after you've taught the Soulfish for the song. The staff tool is really useful. And the staff tool also has the melody compositions in it. So you can show how the song goes on a one line, two line, three line, or five line staff. You can play match the melody. This is in the games. This is an excellent uh, ear training game. And level one uses just so and me. In the solfa practice section, we have movies 
for students to echo sing SOMI, to pr play SOMI um, poison melody games, to read the hand signs, to listen and sing, to do assessments. And then there's also tone letters um, incorporated with every reading song. Follow Music Play on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube for more elementary music teaching tips.